Okay. Cafeteria only open during lunch hours. I see. So we have to wait for lunch then. That's the reason I like this game. That's a wrap. Your chumps better be um, better next time. An atrium. We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these cord lines are rectangles in his head. <laughs> Hello. Speak. <laughs> Fine, you win. Booyah! Oh, there's a. Wait, is there anything here? No, there's nothing. Nothing I can use, at least. Oh, we have to go back. Let's see if it's lunch hour yet. Yes, has to be lunch hour. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Freaking knew it. Um, hey. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. Come on, she's cute. She's adorable. Don't you dare. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck. That's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you wanna be weird, why don't you just go hang with the emos and gods? Well, for one, I don't wanna ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot too. Look, Nick. I just... I just don't wanna be another typical kid in the sea of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. Wait, so this guy is some kind of a human hugging hipster? That's sort of disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what I told her about at the cliff? I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. I guess she's pretty good at holding a crotch. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. I think so too. Yep. Just one more. Hey, dude. I'm envious that this kid was still there to help him move pianos when their hair grew white. I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. Aww. Oh. Let's go to River and check out her awesome platypus. A stuffed toy platypus. 
I just love how every time we see this thing we're currently to get a memory link. It must have left a bit of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. <laughs> oh, just leave, you, leave a scar on your mind. It's not that bad, really. And it's free memory links. Should I even... No need, I'm all good now. I <laughs> can't wait to see what you come up with this time. Kame! Oh, for walnut's sake. Kame! Hey! <laughs> Not cool either. You never pluck someone in the middle of Kamehameha. What? <laughs> she doesn't get it. I was waiting for him to say ha. <laughs> He's probably gonna. Why? What? No, 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 no. That's not what I was supp <sighs> Fuck. I had it and I fucked it up. Oh, he didn't say ha. Huh. That <laughs> would have been perfect. Then he would have finished it. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy, going up, growing up so fast. Okay. Ack, what if he was a girl? What? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends with an E. Joey, Jui, Julie. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous? Oh yes, so jealous. What the heck was that about? A couch? Okay, I get it. Uh, Ma, pickled olives! Oh, bleh, not again. What? Cucumbers? Holy crap, my mind's totally blown! You're pretty easily impressed. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was expecting olives as well. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. Okay, what else? Um, okay, so that's a memento. Um, what? Oh, okay. Let's put on this and just find the last one. Where is it? It's gotta be over here somewhere, right? Oh yeah, it's totally here. Various books with smudged titles. Yes. Prob uh, probably the Animorphs. It's gotta be. Come on, get in. Prepare. No, I'm not gonna fuck this up. Oh shit, I'm totally gonna fuck this up. There, I just have to be more careful. Ah, 81? God damn. I suck at this. Football! It smells like rock kill again. Where are we? Eva? What the hell is that? What the fuck? Oh, right. Ah, now I remember. It's freaky.
That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for, for construction. There must be a malfunction with the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. Fuck. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry, we've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to, to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about, about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. That's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be more of help. Of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Aye, all that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. It's fucking up with, with his brain. All we can do is to prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, uh, one where your desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again and... That's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor, is that what I truly am? You fucked him up, Neil. You fucked him up. You done fucked up now. Sorry. Oh. The heck? Ah, all of our night work. <laughs> the platypus is laying on its stomach. 
Oh, uh, adorable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you a fish? What the heck? What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. Oh, here it says ahead. I'm sorry. I I would ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you say yes. <laughs> Let's do this first. I feel silly, silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is to pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. His desire? What do you mean, his desire? Line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desire. Um, so I have to line up the flowers and and then the pickles. No, the rabbit. Oh wait. Okay, so that worked. Okay, that's cool. Let's go in here. And then the book. Hey, Eva, check this out. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> Seriously? Uh, oh, you. Okay, then the... Let's see, what have we here? Um... Um, oh yeah, the clock. That's what we have to do. And then the football. That was cool. That was easy. Ding! That's about all of the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. Alright, let's check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time, hon. Too bad we get a strike. We get a straggler here. No loss, we can do this without him. I know, but it feels incomplete. You get too attached. It's going to impede your abilities to do your job. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. Okay, so we have to go back in here. Okay, I see. Um... In here? Okay, what now? This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. Usually there's at least some some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible, the desire was transferred, was it not? It was. It's fucked up. If this is indeed the same memory, he'd be at the cliff overlooking the lighthouse. Okay, I see. Because you told him, wasn't it? Actually, I don't know. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu, again. My name is Dr. Eva Roslin, and this is... Well, I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient! I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily?
Prison too. Well, we're here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. Transfer successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if this desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. God damn. You done fucked up. Chani's desire to go to the moon might need some simulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where is Neil? Well... Did you see it through the moon? How was it? Eh, uh, it had a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies a bit more. Oh, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> that was probably the worst French ever. I don't even fucking know. Um, let's go inside the cinema. Hey, platypus. To the moon, darling. Oh, Henry. Dear lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing, constructing movies. <laughs> Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Okay. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Hmm? It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. L Lily? Hello. Uh, there. I'm sorry for kicking Lily out of the thing. Perhaps something here would work. So, did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Get a good spot. Okay, almost right. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Yeah, let's go. Hey, don't squeeze. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? <laughs> ah. As you know, I am a, re I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. <laughs> Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering... What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? 
to inhale the sweetness of Venus, to, sw to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn, Saturn, or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has potential. It could be you! Or you! Or perhaps... You! But I don't want to go to the moon. Then you are in like. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is uh, 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is as big is about as big as Africa? It's true, in fact, if you try to bike around the moon. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds to, for a light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. A <laughs> random person. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> oh, you. You think that's gonna work? Oh my god. Oh, Neil. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was bad enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if, if that worked? Of course, be right back. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Douche. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as... Well... We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay her for... But can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we really have... Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true, for both you and your spouse. <laughs> you motherfuckers. Oh my god. Free pony rides in space! Oh look, a wedding, good for you! But here's the riddle, guess where you should go for the honeymoon? <laughs> What's it even called a honeymoon? Rabbit. River? <laughs> what are you doing, Neil? Dagnabbit, Glass, Slippery, Johnny, jo John, John. <laughs> what the cucumber? Phew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than it's not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around re yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. 
Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Chane's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet... There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless the secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Ah, the sun's rising. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. I have my own theories about this. I'm just gonna keep them to myself for now, because I don't really remember how it ends. Oh, you can smell that squirrel Neil run over all the way from here now. Really? Is it that bad? That's... that's ho awful. Okay. I'm just gonna look around the house for a moment. But Ma... I don't wanna go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. Okay, I sure will. Trying to laugh, you giant doofus. Sorry. <laughs> of course I will. Hello. Those two shouldn't have stayed up that late, but I should have watched them. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you wanted to ask, let me sit down first. Okay. I could use um, some... If you want to talk about it. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? A uh, lady. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last patch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Jenny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help get them back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. Tell me, sorry. What are you going to tell them about John? 
I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays, they'll figure it out. Might as well, it's the nature of life, there's nothing to hide. Uh, future. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame though, I'm going to miss Johnny and this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. No more questions. 